to talk about, uh, I'd like to tell a story. Imagine yourself walking down the street and suddenly you receive four messages. <laughs> so, uh, the first message. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, uh, I will read the first message. Uh, there is evidence that MMR vaccine may cause autism in children with other risk factors for the condition. Okay, now to the second. Dry plants can be used for the treatment of mild and moderate constipation. Third one. Recent studies have suggested that an increase in thyroid cancer incidence in women may be due to exposure from scattered X ray derivative movement. And the last one, eating carbohydrates at night make you gain weight and is not recommended by nutritionists. A good alternative are products caffeine based. So, look into these headlines. Can you say to me, what is the real headline? You went There's only one. Only one? one. Two. one. Said the one. The, 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 the last one. Okay. Third. Who said is the second one? Is the winner. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I was I thought about it and uh, I started to make my chat about this topic, the influence of fake news on health. So the first question I want to say is, do you know what is fake news? Fake news are news stories, hopes that are created to misinform the reader. Okay. Uh, nowadays, these fake news are very present in the political scene, but you can also see it in the health as well. So, I bring to you uh, some types of information disorder. Two of them are fake news zone, information disorders. The first one, misinformed, this one. It's a type of fake news that the person doesn't have the intention to uh, spread the fake news. We can say it's a, uh, it's easier to notice this type of fake news. And the second one, disinformation. The person had the intention to spread this fake news. When you, uh, when you see deep fakes, for example, people uh, put in the face of some actors in other videos, or uh, theories. Uh, this kind of notice that are fake. But uh, the last one, main information, is when you, it isn't a fake news, but the person is like a hacker and share your private information and have the intention to spread it for money or political ways, other reasons. So we know what is fake news, but how people who spread this fake news. So I bring to you that 3 billion people use internet in the world. It's, a, it's like 40% of the world population. And, uh, and according to the survey media, Brazilian media survey, 49% uh, of Brazilian Brazilian population, uh, or, sorry, 49% of respondents of this on the survey said that they get knowledge from the social media, from the internet. And this 90%, in, in this 49%, 91% use uh, this internet in the cell phones. So, uh, looking to this survey, we can see that uh, the social media is very inside the knowledge of the Brazilian population. So, uh, it's very easy to fake news uh, spread, spread the fake news. And here I, it's more than an OBS observation that the average time of weekly internet is about 4 hours and 30 minutes. That's a lot if you look at uh, how huge is Brazil. After that I will talk about uh, the consequences. Uh, what's the problem if you spread this fake news? 
So I first first of all I will talk about the pro anorexia. Uh, there is exist some people that upload some videos at YouTube, Tinder, and other you know, social medias that are uh, spreading fake news about anorexia and said that anorexia is a lifestyle, is not a disease. Anorexia is a disease and needs to be treated as a disease. So, uh, and it's vaccination. Uh, vaccination are suffering the same problem as anorexia. People are uploading these videos uh, saying uh, needs to be natural or this kind of things. Uh, when I said about vaccination, uh, Brazil, some are are below set by the WHO in measles, for example. So this movement, anti-vaccination movement, are uh, with fake news are getting uh, worse and worse the uh, vaccination coverage in Brazil. So. How we can spot this fake news? How we can solution? There is an ex didn't exist in a solution, but you can uh, search for that, search for the real news. So the first thing you need to do is consider the source. It's very important because the source is it will say if it's you need you can trust or not. And there is some tips about it. Like you, read, you need to read beyond, you need to get inside the news, uh, read about it, study, check the date. It's very important too because the date said so much about the news because if it's uh, an old news, a new news. And the others once said that you need to check the other, for example. It's very important because the order said that you need to go to the source. All of these are inside the first one. You need to consider the source. So, if you don't know, don't spread. Thanks so much.